Yeah, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a state night competition, but it really illustrates the point of how you should actually be playing Moisin Fitz. So let's jump straight in and look at how this hand should be played. So the auction went one club pass, I bid one heart, and it went a three diamond overcall, and my partner made a take up double, and I just jumped to four spades. And this went all pass, and we got the uh, king of diamonds lead. So first thing is that uh, we're playing Ackle, so this hand would usually have gotten opened one no trump. Uh, but here we're in four spades, which is a quite reasonable spot. So we got the king of diamonds lead, and this went small, queen. So if we make a plan, it's kind of hard to try and count my losers. I've got one diamond loser and three heart losers, and I might be able to take a heart finesse. But when we've got short trumps, uh, sometimes it's worthwhile counting winners as well. And we've got four spade winners, four club winners, and two hearts if the finesse works. So we might be able to get up to ten tricks via a heart finesse. But one of the things that we're always worried about is losing control of the trump suit. So here it went king of diamonds, and they lead the ace of diamonds, and they follow. So what happens is if I trump now, if I play for spades to be 3-3, three, three, then when they get in, they'll be able to return another diamond and cash out all the diamonds. So I, I want to pitch a heart here to make sure that if spades don't break 3-3, three, three, then uh, I can still handle everything. So I pitched a diamond, and now another diamond. And here, now I know east is out of diamonds. So the question is, do I want to trump now? So I've still got... Uh, two heart losers. I can take a heart finesse, but even if the heart finesse is working, I still have a deep heart loser. So if I trump now and lead the queen of hearts, I won't be able to, uh, like, I'll still have a heart loser, but I'll also set up a spade loser if trumps don't break. So what I actually want to do is keep discarding, and now that dummy is out of diamonds as well, they can no longer attack that suit. So what we can do now is, if they play another spade, I just get to rough with the ace of spades and throw my heart away, draw trumps assuming they don't break 5-1 or 6-0, and go from there. But otherwise, they have to switch, and we've maintained trump control. So after they do that, they might switch to a club. So we'll win that, and we just draw trumps. So play a spade, and another spade, and we can draw all of the trumps like this um, and then just catch the clubs and take a heart finesse. If instead we'd trumped a little bit earlier, say on the uh, third round of diamonds, so here, what would happen is we would get to draw say, three rounds of trumps, East would still have a trump out, and we can take the heart finesse and get two heart tricks, but we won't get all of our clubs. So they'll still get a heart trick, and they can get their deep spade, and we'll actually go one down. So it's really important here to uh, discard until we've got parity, or until dummy's got uh, no more, so that we can retain trump control. So we're, we're holding on to our spades until the shorthand can also rough the suit, and we're just throwing away our losers because we're going to lose trump control unless the suit breaks 3-3. Three, three. So this is one of the tips for playing in uh, Moisian Fits. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this hand of the week. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.